Okay, so we're going to do a quick um, review on the Life Color Combo Pigment and Color sets. Now, there's a few of these sets that have just come out from Life Color, um, and it's a, it's a brand of paint that I've really started to become interested in, for mainly because <clears throat> it's uh, primarily a brush paint, if I remember rightly, um, but is really easy to spray with a 50/50 mix of thinner. Um, now, I've um, I need a good brush painting set because if I'm going to start doing figures and things like that it means I've either got to go out and buy all loads of new model colours because the Tamiya, the Guns and the Model Air will not brush paint and that's the three sets of paints I've got. So I've bought a couple of, I bought the Life Colour paint um, flesh set which I did last month and uh, we've got this now, this is a prize on uh, Sci-Fi SIG and this was kindly donated by S&M stuff. So I thought I'd do a quick review because they are new out so we'll see just see what they're like. But uh, on the box, you've got obviously a picture here, and you've got the um, different types. You've got three pigments and three acrylic colours. Now the pigments are North Europe dust, East Europe dust, South Europe dust, and the same in uh, colours. As you can see, there is a definite difference between the pigments and the colours. So uh, straight away, you've got like a, a proper, a full system pigment and colour set, so uh, to work with. But they're actually made to work together so which is quite interesting um, on the box itself on the back you've got a little bit it got instructions how to use life color and the sort of results that you can hope to expect okay um, which looks quite nice and uh, I mean it just says on here dilute color preferably with life color thinner um, that works fine with life color absolutely spot on no problems at all I know a few people have said that um, Life color is really hard to thin, but it's not. That is perfect. As I said, works with everything. Um, that's the only bottle of thinner I got now. Um, and uh, and it says, oh, uh, lacking this with water with a thick, uh, reaching a thickness that is similar to milk. Do not dilute life cover with other substances or thinners or other brands. Well, we can ignore that. When using a color from an old and already used part, it's advisable for filter the product through you know, a filter or whatever. So, you know, um, possible marks of dry colour can be removed from airbrush with cleaner. Uh, life colour, um, um, it doesn't really say a lot for it. it, says about instructions, but it doesn't really say. Um, it does say here on the photos, it says you've got the pure pigment over the base colour applied with a flat and soft brush. The colour and pigment mixture, so you mix the two, applied splashing the wet mixture with a big stiff brush over the base colour. Now you can. I think there's two ways you can do that. You can either do that with your th uh, thumb or forefinger, or there is a method where you, you load up the brush, you, it'll be a softer brush than this, this is one of my weathering brushes, and you spray through the brush, okay, and that splatters everything onto the, onto the model. So I would assume that's the way they're doing it. Uh, and then it says third stage, wet mixture of colour and pigment applied over the base colour with a soft round brush. And that looks quite thick, um, like it's got some sort of paste in it. So it's obviously you make you can make a paste up with them. So let's have a look, we'll see what's in the box. We'll see what's on the outside. Not an easy box to get into, one of those rip things. Uh, it's also got some other sets that they do, like mud, tracks, rust, some more on the inside there, general wall tank sets, you know, they do all the usual sets. Now, much with the flesh painting set, you get um, inside comes a little cardboard divider with three sets of paints. You've got three paints, which are the black tops, um, and then you have uh, the pigments, which are the red tops. Now, uh, these are, yeah, they're just normal powders uh, and everything. Oh, the top isn't on that one properly, that's a bit of a um but um as with normal pigments they're, they're literally just powder and you make them up how you want them to be um the paints themselves the acrylic paints what I found about life color like i said with the flesh paint color last last month it's um they do smell just like emulsion that you get from b q or any of your diy shops just bulk standard emulsion uh, now most emulsion, um, of all, all emulsion these days are water based acrylics so um, you know it's the uh, same sort of thing really but it really does smell like emulsion that you would get down at B&Q. Pigments, uh, I don't want to open them because I don't want to get the dust everywhere as I say this is a prize for someone but as you can see very very slight gradients in colour, Let's hopefully you can pick these up, I don't know if you will be able to or not 
but very very slight gradients in colour in those pigments. Not a great deal, just a touch. And the colours themselves, good shape for you. As you go, just very slightly different. Okay, even though they look a lot different from the colours on the um, on the box, there's not a great deal of difference in those. And you can see they do match. You know, those two are a perfect match. There's just enough gradient in the colours to be able to tell which one's which. Um, and uh, I mean, obviously, I haven't used these yet, and I won't use these because these are a prize. But um, I think I may invest in a set. I wouldn't mind the mud set. I think I'm going to go for the mud one rather than the dust because I think that's what I'd use more. Um, but uh, dusting's quite a hard. A dust effect is quite a hard effect to get anyway. Um, so if these can help you do that, then more power to them. But that really much. That's pretty much what's included in the in the box. Now these boxes retail for about twenty pounds in the UK, um, and so they're not particularly cheap. Uh, if you think about it, they're, they're three pound thirty a pot. So you're paying, you know, I know the paints are only about two pounds. So what, really, what you're paying in essence is is uh, you know four pound thirty for a small how much mils twenty two mil of pigment. Um, and the paint pots are 22 mil as well, so they're the same pots, just different colour lids. So it's, they, they are quite expensive, I've got to say, that is quite a lot of money, 20 quid for that set. But uh, if it works, as I always say, um, if it works and you have the money to spend on it and it helps you build better, then it can't be a bad thing. You know, don't let anyone knock you for trying new things or anything like that. You go out and spend what you want on, on what you want, it's your hobby and enjoy it. Anyway, but that is the um, combo pigment and colour set from Life Colour, the dust set.